Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to focus on folk art and we're looking at the Swedish Stala horse. So today we're going to start with a piece of blue paper and you're going to have it going long ways. And I'm going to give you a handout that shows you lots of different patterns. And we know that patterns are shapes and designs that repeat itself. So I'm going to just do some very simple ones. I'm going to go at the top here. I'm going to just go with my crayon. I'm going to press fairly firmly so that I can make sure that those patterns actually pop out. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go right along and I'm going to repeat. It looks like a V. Okay, and I'm still going to use the same colour and I'm going to do design like this, scallop line. We've learned a lot about lines this year, haven't we boys and girls? I'm going to go across. Then I'm going to do a different design now. I'm going to do a dot and then I'm going to go up and turn it like that, a little bit like a teardrop or a petal and I'm going to have them going in four directions and once I've got that then I'm going to move it across and I'm going to do another dot and I want to make sure that I've left enough room for this side to come in like that so I've not got them squished in so again I'm going to bring my dot across further so I've got room for that petal shape to come across up there I'm pr as you can see, I'm pressing pretty firmly with this crown as well. And I think I've got room for just one more. And I'll just squeeze that one in there. Actually, and I'll make that one just a little bit smaller. That's good there. Then I'm going to continue and I'm going to do some more shapes and designs. So I think I'm going to go with a circle and a triangle. So what I'm going to do is mix it up a little bit. Circle and a triangle. Circle and a triangle. Now the handout I've given you gives you ideas, but if you want to create your own patterns that repeat going across your paper, you can do. Now I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to go with a, a leaf shape. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm doing a curved line, bringing the curved line back. Curved line, bringing it back. Curved line, bringing it back. And again, I've got room for one more. Curve line, bringing it back. Curve line, bringing it back. Curve line, bringing it back. And also, if I feel like I've got areas that I could still put some more designs in, I could still add in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a plus sign, plus sign, plus sign, just to fill up those little areas there. And I'm going to do a triangle, triangle, triangle. So everything's nicely balanced. So once we've got that done, we're going to put that to the side and then we're going to get ourselves a sheet of red paper. And this is what we're going to use to actually draw the horse. Now you're all going to receive a tracing template and the horse can go in this direction or you can turn it over and have it facing that direction. I actually like it that direction. And what I'm going to do is actually draw around it with my crayon, any color. I'm going to use a dark crayon. I'm going to go round the shape. So what I need to do is put one hand on top of the tracer, the template, and the other hand with my crayon, because if I don't hold this uh, template down, it might slip. Now also another thing you could actually do is with a buddy, you could actually work together. Your buddy could hold the template down for you and you could trace it and then you could do the same for your buddy to, and that would be working cooperatively together. So that's the shape of the horse. Now I'm going to just set that to the side because I don't need that anymore, okay? Now the Dala horse has lots of patterns on its saddle and then on its reins as well and I've got a handout for you but what I'd like to do first is actually just do it very lightly in pencil so if I make a mistake I can erase it. So I like to call it like ghost lines um, so I go really light. So I'm going to do is saddle one, two, three scallop lines, and I'm going to make that look the same, but just give it a little bit bigger going around like that. And that's a saddle there. And then I'm going to bring in some shapes, sort of like curved triangles to decorate that. Now, I don't know if you can see that, 
Yep, just a little bit. I think what I'll probably do is go over it with um, my marker so you can see it. But what we'll do, boys and girls, is actually we'll do it in pencil and then we're going to use our crayons to colour it in. But I'm going to go over it with my marker so you can see it a little bit clearer. Now the next part is to draw a line from the saddle to the horse's neck and then do it again so you've got two lines that are equal distance apart and that's called being parallel lines, those are parallel lines. Then we want to do the same again, a line here that goes to the horse's tummy and again another line, equal distance apart, parallel line and that's another part, so it straps the saddle onto the horse. Now to make it highly decorative, what we're going to do is we're going to go scallop, 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 scallop. And same here, scallop, scallop, scallop. And the, the shape is a little bit like clouds, scallop, 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 or the number three or the letter C. And then what I'd like us to do is to do the horse's reins. So from just behind the ears, and we're going to go down towards the horse's mouth and then we're going to repeat that line running along beside it like train tracks really like that okay then we're going to do another line bump across when you hit that one and go across like that another line stop when you hit that and go across like that and then horse's eye I'm just going to do the horse's eye as a curve so it's like a little smile, so his eye is shut. Then we can do a horse's mane. So I'm just going to curl that around like that and just stripe it. We could even scallop as well, just to add a little bit more decoration. And once you've got that design in place with your pencil, and I don't mind if you want to go over it with marker as well to make it pop out as well for like contrast. And then after that, you're going to colour it in using your crayons. And remember that you're going to press nice and firmly to colour it in. So I'm going to get on with this and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, boys and girls? Alright boys and girls, now that you've got it coloured in and all you were going to colour in was the saddle and the reins and the, and the mane of the horse, you're going to leave the horse's body still red, that's the whole point of using the red paper. Then you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut out the horse. So go back to your blue background with the pattern on it and with your horse that's cut out, lay it down, see what it looks like. I love that. Now, get your glue stick and turn your horse over. And don't do it on the blue paper, but I would like you to go round the shape of the horse, okay? And this is gonna make sure that the horse is glued down and nothing is going to flap. And then do a little bit of glue in the middle, okay? And then, bring it back, set it in the centre as best as you can, and then we turn it over and we rub it on its back, okay? And we also do the upside down test. And there you are, boys and girls. There is your Swedish Dala horse. Now it's your turn. Let's go make some art. <laughs> 